Wow. Staying in Europe now, and despite the continuing economic crisis across much of the Eurozone, the sun is still continuing to shine on luxury tourism in Spain. A record number of foreign tourists visited Spain this summer. Welcome news for a country mired in recession and mass unemployment. Take a look. Welcome to the Costa del Sol, one of the most popular holiday destinations in Europe. This 160-kilometer strip of sand is the place where tourists from countless countries and across the social spectrum gather to spend a few days in the hot Spanish sun. From what Malaga and Torremolinos locals call the Spaghetti and Chips Brigade to the rich, old and nouveau in Marbella, there is something to suit all budgets and tastes on Spain's most famous coastline. In 2012, local authorities in Andalusia began a strategy called Elite Collection, designed to lure the super-rich to their shores. The area in and around Marbella now offers dozens of luxury hotels, beach clubs, limousine rentals and private aircraft companies. We don't feel the crisis here. I think Puerto Banus is a world within a world. We were also in Portugal and there we saw the crisis. Here in Spain you don't see it as much as over there. Despite looking like an old fishing town, Puerto Banus is a relatively new resort, dating back just over 40 years. In the 1970s, Marbella began a spectacular growth as a tourist destination and began attracting the super-rich to this area. Now, dozens of local boutiques and shops around the marina area do good business all year round. Our clients have always maintained the same purchasing power, regardless of the crisis. Every time they want to treat themselves, they come straight to our shop. But the impact of luxury tourism in the region can be best seen in the spectacular development of real estate and sales over the past three decades. The Spanish real estate bubble may have burst, but here in Marbella it's business as usual for those wanting to buy or rent a luxury villa. Meanwhile, the calm and transparent waters of the Mediterranean make this the ideal place for sailing. So despite economic difficulties, it seems that luxury tourism is still making waves in Spain. Lee Maxwell Simpson, CCTV, 